Sam Space 81 here. Uh, we're wrapping up my week at Good Guys and Scottsdale and the Bugarama. And what we're going to do, we're going to end it up with my buddy Brent's Suburban. It's a diesel power. Uh, last of the square body Suburbans. Thing's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Square bodies that really came into their own. Look at that thing. What's the story on this rig, brother? Dry climate Arizona example. I found it on Craigslist for dirt sheep, and I just brought out the, its inner beauty. Re cleaned up the interior a little bit. Like we did the blanket. Uh, Scrub, it's got loose ends, fresh tires, left the original paint on it. Detailed out the engine. Yeah. Is this a 1987 model? 1988. See, I, I thought the last of the squares were 87, a Suburban. Last of the squares actually went up to 1991. Even uh, they changed the body style on the trucks, but they kept the Suburban up through 1990 or 1991. I'm not sure. It's one of those two. And the later model was that 2.5 liter turbo. This is the non-turbo uh, 5.6. I can't remember. We'll put it in the description. Yeah. I know you've been dolling this rig up a while. Yeah, yeah. You've got the got the AC working. And... Oh yeah, yeah. It's going to a man. Uh, I sold it to a man in Sweden. He's he can't wait to get it. So anything Americana, Swedish guys, they just love it. He'll be tooling around with his grandchildren in it and somewhere in Sweden. Nice. Yeah, he's, he's all happy. He can't wait to get it. It's got to be an Arizona ride. Is it always yeah. a local ride? Yes. Well, it sold new in Northern California, but it made its way to Sedona, Arizona, shortly after in the in the uh, late '80s, and then uh, uh, it's been there ever since. I bought it from a man in a trailer park in Sedona, Arizona. Nice. Uh, yeah, a Vietnam veteran guy. He just didn't have time to fool with it anymore. Let's have a look. And, yeah, this is all there. We just, I just took all the strong attributes and made it that way. Fresh tires. I like the contrasting running boards there. Yeah. They came that way, they weren't painted? I think that was a dealer option. Okay. Got the fold down seats in the back? Yeah, fold down seats. I can do that for you if you're interested. Yeah, I'd like to see them work. Okay. Let's show everybody how they work. Okay. I know we've messed with a few of them. Let me get on the other side, buddy. Alright. Let's check out these fold down seats. Look at this monster. You got room for all sorts of things. So we got a third row and a second row. Yep. Nice. Look how clean I got it. Oh yeah, the carpet. That was filthy when I got it, but yeah. it wasn't abused, you know. It was dirty, but it wasn't... Yeah, it smells fresh. Worn. Old Headliners original, showing yeah, some headliners age. Yeah, a little droopy. That's the only negative. And the seat covers, 
up front they need they needed to be redone but i didn't want to put that kind of money into it so i bought those fancy western themed saddle blanket seat covers on it they look good on it they fit the ride i think it did yeah it's totally appropriate for the car i see it's got rear air conditioning yeah i did it blows ice cold too nice all the four-wheel drives work in high and low yeah um tracks down the road perfectly um, it's got the typical, no rust, but you've got your typical issues that are common in Arizona. The you know, crack dash and then the etching on the paint from the harsh sunlight. Yeah. But, you know, it's better than big gaping holes in your court or in your rocker panels. Man, we haven't had a, done a video together in a long time. Yeah, it has to, been quite a while, huh? We used to feature a lot of vehicles over the years. We certainly I'm did. A, I'm going to put some in the description so everybody can see some of our our shenanigans hundreds and hundreds made probably in the thousands of cars we've done oh i don't doubt it you know but way before youtube check out the profile look at that bad boy yeah it's not bet it climbs like a billy goat in low range yeah it's got lots of torque 20 miles a gallon, that's what impresses me. And that's a big vehicle to get that kind of mileage. You get 20 miles to the gallon in it? Yeah, I can grab the baby down the highway going 65. Wow, nice. These 6.2 liter diesels, they're built by, uh, uh, they decided they wanted to put a diesel motor in a suburban well, How convenient for General Motors to own Detroit Diesel. So Detroit Diesel came up with a, a version that would just drop right into the the uh, gas engine platform and uh, the 6.2 kind of got a bad rap for underpowered. You don't miss it. It still cruises down the highway without an issue. Um, the only issue is it just doesn't have a, a, a lot of pulling power. So yeah. if, you're, if you're pulling a heavy load, it's probably not going to be Yeah, it really is. They're getting harder and harder to find. Yeah, and they're going to, you know, it's a square body, so all it's going to do is throw up the ground. Yeah, we were just in Conroe recently. I did a truck show down there. I'll put a link in the description. And yeah, Arizona had a bunch of square bodies too. Guys, Texas. Yeah, they were asking an arm and a leg for it. We came across a clean one we liked, and the guy had sold it within 15 minutes of pulling up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and it was the nicest one in there. So he probably got what he was asking for too. Yeah, he said both parties were happy. Yeah. How does this back open up, Brent? Does it have a window? Is it power? How does that work? Oh yeah. Oh, it works too. <laughs> I put my camera in and just smashed it. Oh well. Hey, let's hear a little bit. Give it a little gas. Let's hear that diesel. Healthy. She's healthy. Oh yeah, no blue smoke. The later model diesels are about 20 to 20 Yeah. If it's blue smoke, you've got trouble. If it's got blowback, you got trouble. This one has neither of those. Look at old door panel. That's a good shape. Look, somebody's arm wasn't up there really. Yeah. It didn't look that way when, when I got it. It was filthy, but again, good point. You know, there's no notable what kind of wear. miles miles we got on uh, it. It's turned over. It shows 68, 255, 168,000, 168,255 miles. Less than my than my gas Mercedes. There you go. And I got that icy, I AC blown ice cold. Yeah, Love buddy. It. Well, it's been a pleasure, my friend. All right. I've enjoyed my time with you. All right, I certainly have too.
Why don't you back that baby up and I'm gonna head back to Dallas. All right, see y'all later. Later, brother. Let's hit the road. Time is a burning. Look at that bad boy. That's the kind of rides I grew up with in the 80s.